The US military is filled with acronyms and military phrases that give it a language all its own. If you're a prior service, retired, a veteran, active duty, or maybe just a friend or family member that lives with someone that was in the military, then chances are you're going to be familiar with a lot of these military phrases. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to go through a handful of military phrases and what the meaning is behind those phrases. Now some of them are going to be well known and you'll be familiar with them, but some of them are probably going to be a little bit lesser well known and maybe your first introductory to it. But if you would like to pick up any of these military phrases in a patch form, we do have those on militaryuniformsupply.com. They have a hook fastener backing so you can put them on a cap, your uniform, or on some type of bag or other equipment. And they are available at an extremely low price. Be sure to look in the description below and I will put a link to these items. So let's get started with our first patch or our first military phrase and that is hurry up and wait. Now hurry up and wait is a phrase that's used to refer to a situation where you're forced to hurry up in order to complete a certain task. However, when you arrive at that destination ready to get the work started, you have to wait a little bit longer before it begins. And then wait longer and longer and longer. You have to hurry up and get there so you can wait before it starts. Now along that same line is a phrase called stand by to stand by. With this, it's an order for you to wait so you can wait some more. Definitely annoying for those that are in that situation. The next one on my list is high speed low drag. And if you were to look this one up on the internet, you're going to get a bunch of different meanings from ways to transport equipment to airdropped precision guided munitions. But the way that I remember high speed low drag is for a soldier that shows some initiative and some competence and gets in there and gets the job done and gets the job done well. Now some of you might remember high speed low drag being tied in with a bunch of different phrases. High speed low drag, huh? Or take this one for example. High speed low drag, Teflon coated, sandwich fed, beer cooled, all the way and then some sergeant, airborne, huh? Or something crazy like that. Now one of my favorite, especially when I was in basic training, is days and a wake up. What this basically means is the number of days before you fly out and get the heck out of there. Now this is usually preceded by a number, so like five days and a wake up, meaning that you have five full days, you wake up and you're going to be gone. Now what's fun about this patch is we also have tactical numbers by Millspec Monkey. If you want to have the days in a wake up and then maybe purchase a few numbers, then you could put that on your pack. Five days in a wake up, three days in a wake up, 35 days in a wake up, whatever it is that you'd like to present. This next one is fun and could be a little bit dangerous depending on where you're at. And that is no impact, no idea. Pretty much you're going to be high and way off to the right, meaning that you're going to shoot or do something along those lines and we're gonna have no idea where it hits, meaning you missed by a mile. Now, other than a soldier being way off target, this could also mean that the speaker doesn't understand an idea or that someone has become totally clueless. That's the thing about these military phrases, a lot of them have taken on several different meanings. So the next military phrase that you may or may not be familiar with is nut to butt. Nut to what? <laughs> Okay, very literally, this does mean that you are trying to stand as close as you can to the soldier in front of you. Back when I was in basic training, I remember this as pack it in, make your buddy smile, which just means that everyone needs to smash into this room. You're gonna be standing in line, you're going to hurry up and wait, and you're gonna be as close to everybody as you can. I never understood why we had to pack in so close. It was just the way that basic training ended up being. So yeah, that is an interesting pack for sure. Here's another good one that you can give to your friend, which is good initiative, bad judgment. And this basically means that, hey, I'm really proud of you for taking this on and trying to solve it, but the way that you did it just wasn't really good. Grunt by association, if you're attached to an infantry unit and you're not infantry, then you're probably a grunt by association. A lot of time this is drivers or artillery. Rainbow PT gear. This one basically means that you can wear whatever you want to physical training the next day, however outlandish or sporty it may be. Gear adrift is a gift. That means that if you leave your stuff unattended and it turns up missing, you only have yourself to blame. Mandatory fun or mando fun means that you're going to go to this mandatory party and you're gonna have a good time. That's an order. 
And then finally we have pop smoke, which means to signal a helicopter or to leave in a hurry. So that's just a handful of different military sayings and phrases that you can find on patches on our website, militaryuniformsupply.com. Now most of these patches are available in four different colors. You've got black, OCP Multicam, Desert Tan, and ACU or Foliage Green. I'll put a link to all of these in the description below. Be sure to check them out. A lot of them are on clearance and they won't be available for very long, especially at those prices. Now with that being said, let me know what are some of the military sayings or phrases that you remember? What are a few that we could add to this list? Be sure to leave a comment below and we'll look forward to reading through them. Thank you very much for watching and on to the next. <laughs> Not to butt. Oh my god. <laughs>